kids up. Little man got got sick yesterday, just like suddenly had a pretty good fever. I think he got up to like 103, so this, this morning didn't really want to um, go out and run too far away anyway. Like I probably would have gone on the treadmill, but I kind of expected him to wake up a little early. I definitely should have woken up earlier, but we'll run later. It's all good. All right, running in the afternoon. Man, I haven't done a good hot afternoon run in a long time. It's about 93. That first mile was dog shit slow. Wow, this is a little miserable. I'm pretty well hydrated. I've eaten well today, and yet this is still, this is still pretty rough. Oh boy. So at last, Last month or so has been pretty rough. I kind of got real sick again. Things just like went down. Ultimately, it's just been not two st steps forward, one step back. You know, it's been more like five steps forward, two steps back, three steps forward, 14 steps back. You know, it's just been zany. I mean, it's definitely trending upward, but it's been real non-linear. <laughs> And that's pretty tough to handle. But then I, then I kind of strained my calf a little bit and just immediately backed off and was like, all right, body's not ready for this right now. Let's take a step back and take a little break. You know, I ran some good mileage, not, not anything high, but like February to February, March, April, May, I, I, would, I did okay. Relative, certainly better than anything I did last year. So we've built up a tiny, 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 tiny little foundation and we're gonna start gradually uh, raising that bar a little higher, but for now, just running slow, slogging through the heat, and then we'll bike right after. Not even registering. Oh. Sinead texted me that there's a hornet in the house. So I'm beelining back home. My wife's the only one who's gonna think that's remotely funny. All right, let's go check out this hornet situation. Sinead's out walking the kids about four miles, a little over four miles at 10 minute pace. Yes, you heard that correctly. It's hilly and it's hot, man. So the poor doggies are all alone in here, allegedly with a hornet. Let's see where that little fucker is. Hey boys. So right away I see something on the light fixture there. See that? Is that it? That's some type of bug. Oh boy. Something up there. That's definitely not a hornet. All right, let's see if Sinead thought maybe incorrectly. I can't see it. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, no hornets here. Let's see if we can get a look. Yeah, there he is. That's eh, just a little beetle or something. 
Uh, what are you? Where'd you go? Yeah, he's harmless. It's okay, boys. It's okay. Oh, poor little weenies. I don't know about any of y'all, but my dogs are just like petrified of bugs. Absolutely petrified. This one, Luca, he has chased a bear before out of our driveway. That same dog that chased a bear out of our driveway. Absolutely petrified of bugs. So I'm setting like a, like a minimum of cardio that I wanna do every single day. I'm setting that at one hour right now, which I think, I mean, come on. If your goal is to make the Olympic trials in the marathon, you damn well better be doing at least an hour of cardio every single day. It's probably, for me especially, that's definitely gonna take more like two hours in the long run. But for now, at least getting started, getting momentum going, one hour. So today I ran 44 minutes, so I'm gonna round out that hour on the bike. The way I see it, I have to start building some legitimate aerobic fitness. Like I have to, I, it's, it's too late to take things super slow. Like I'm gonna do smart, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna train smart, I'm gonna build it up smart, but it's just too late to, too late in the game to, to be like, all right, we're just gonna take our time and take it slow. So I think one hour of cardio per day is, again, how can you do anything less than that if you're trying to accomplish some legitimate marathon goals? You can't, there's no way you can, <clears throat> that you can do anything on anything less than that. So today, let's see, where are we at right now? Ah, 17, I've already done an hour, but we'll round it off to an even 20 on the bike. 44 minute run, little 20 minute bike. Sweating bullets, but feeling pretty good. So all this stuff over here, all this crap that we currently have in the gym area, that is there because we're moving. So we've been in this place now for almost two years. Actually, no, I'm sorry, not almost two years. Today's July 1st. It's exactly been two years since we moved in here. And it was always intended to be temporary. You know, we, we had our just horrendous house search two years ago. Couldn't, couldn't lock in a place, couldn't get an offer accepted. So we wound up here, which has been great for the time being, but Man, that place has gotten small. It's like 900 square feet, up, like the actual upstairs area. Thank goodness for this area um, where we have like the bike, the treadmill, the, all the gym stuff. I actually work right over there. So we only pay an extra $100, $100 a month to use this area. The guy um, who owns this place, super smart guy, super savvy. He built it to house his like boat in the winter. And then also all of his, he owns a construction company. So all of his like construction equipment which is why it's a total disaster. I have to just kind of like tunnel vision it when I come in here. He's a good guy. I, you know, he's just okay with a little bit more dysfunction than I think, uh, than I think I am. Ooh. Place messes with me, man. But we, uh, this is kind of a, this is gonna come across kind of weird. It's kind of hard to explain. We wound up buying a house with my parents, actually. So my parents are retired. They live in Texas, uh, where I was born and we live in South Carolina. They want to move out here. They wanted to move out here. And we were, you know, we were starting to look at houses for them. They wanted to sell their Texas house and move out here. And eventually we just kind of, you know, they're gonna help us with, um, help out with the kids a lot. And, you know, we're really tight with my parents. I mean, we're really tight with Sinead's parents too, but uh, eventually we just kind of came up with the idea of why don't we just, why don't we just buy a place together? You know, we, we, we're renting at the moment. We're in a really tiny place. Why don't we just, you know, buy a place together? And we, we just kind of happened, just sort of happened upon finding, um, finding a place that just like perfectly suits our needs. I mean, more or less perfectly suits our needs. It's two story. So that way we kind of each have our own floor in a way we kind of each have our own space, each of the respective like families. And I mean, it really couldn't have worked out better. We only went to see the one house. We didn't even go see any other houses with our realtor. And, um, yeah, we're closing at the end of the month, so. All 
Uh, getting this kid some Chick-fil-A. Right, little buddy? Yeah. Hey there. Hey, what's a good name? For hours, you know. <laughs> you have a good one. Thanks, you too. See, we got our Chick-fil-A, right? Right, little buddy? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. You hungry? Mm. Here, look. You gonna ring the doorbell? Can you ring the doorbell? Good boy. Hey, boys. You see your pups? Here, boy. You ready to eat? All right, little buddy. It's coming. Ready? Yeah. All right, kid. We got fries some grilled chicken nuggets, and some raspberries for health. All right, kid. Dinner served, young man. There you go. Good buddy. You stay over here. Yeah, good boy. Now to get on my high horse real quick. So I am having steak, cilantro lime rice, and broccoli. Mmm, what do you two think about that? <laughs> I'm eating up here on my high horse. AKA our piece of shit counters. I will not miss these, no. No way. Your favorite song, man. He loves it, don't you? This much oh, no. screen time. Oh. Just while he's sick. Oh. By the way, his fever, it was like 100. Oh, good. Okay. 100.1, oh, okay. I think. That's so, okay. yeah, we're all good. You're all good, little That's man. not too bad. Hi, buddy. I was telling them how about our uh, housing thing and about our oh, yeah. epic fail of a house hunt yeah. two years ago. So, yeah. about how disastrous it was. And also, I, I figure it's a good time to tell the story about the the the, the dream house yeah we, so we had this we had this house that we it was actually our first house was it wasn't the first house we made an offer on uh yeah yeah so the first the first house we actually made an offer on um back in 21 2021 we i mean we were strong buyers we had good and we, god we had a great interest rate at that point and we saw this house it was definitely more remote than like what we would have wanted but it was i mean i mean it's, it was my dream house. Dream house -y? That's what it you said. It was an A-frame, which Michael thinks are really impractical, but... I, I kind of hate A-frames, but it was really it. nice. And it was on six, six like wooded acres. It was just gorgeous. I mean, it was, it was incredible. And we bid... Now, they priced it pretty aggressively. It was one of those things where you knew that they... You knew they were pricing it low. Our realtor knew they were pricing it low on purpose. But we bid... <laughs> 35k 35k yeah. over asking yeah. 35k over yeah. asking Crazy. and this just shows like the insanity of Craziness. the housing market we <laughs> lost out ended up losing out by 25k is that right yeah, it ends up so yeah. yeah yeah 20 25k so we were 35k over asking yeah and we ended up losing out by 25k <laughs> Someone's trying to take over. Can you film us? Can you film us? Then I don't have to hold it. That'd be great, son. He thinks I'm trying to put him in bed. Yeah. Well, Jeez. we're having we're we're experiencing a little bit of like Schadenfreude right now because those the the people who bought it, who got it ahead of us, um, clearly like for they put it back on the market. They're selling it, and it's it's very obvious that they had turned it into a short term rental, which kind of pisses you off when you're like when you have a family. And you're trying to get a place, and you're a strong buyer. You know you've done you've done everything you were supposed to do, and you lose out to who was maybe not a cash buyer, but probably could have paid cash for it, and just turned it into a short term rental. Like very obviously turned it into a short term rental. It kind of pisses you off, you know. And now they've what have they done? Like a couple of price reductions. So yeah, I don't well, wish ill on anybody, but they're trying to sell it for. Pay more don't, don't, yeah, yeah, we don't need to talk prices, but they're trying to sell it for a, they're trying to, yeah, but they've done a bunch Which of price reductions already, and uh. I'll admit that I'm taking a little bit of joy in uh, 
yeah. and, seeing, and seeing them suffer a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I tripped him on accident. <laughs> I'm still, still a little salty about that. Still a little salty. That. Oh, you got a feather. feather. Cool, man. Way to go. <laughs> a gift. <laughs> But yeah, it's good to finally, well, we haven't closed yet, so we don't want to speak too soon, but it's good to finally yeah, have a place to call our own and be out of. Look, this place has been great, but this place is 900 square feet. I was talking to the guy who owns it earlier, and he was talking about like people looking at it, and uh, uh, one couple had like kids that are five and seven, and he was just like, he was like, are you sure, man? This place is pretty tiny. Yeah. And it's funny, the guy, the guy told him, well, we've been living in an RV the last few years. And he's like, well, in that case, yeah, you'll be fine. But um, we are ready to get the hell out of here. Yeah. It's been great. It's been good for what we needed. But this kid is too mobile. Hey, are you putting a feather on my hat? On yes. my... <laughs> Put a feather in your cap, young man. That ain't molting. <laughs> <laughs> your sister is trying to sleep, son. <laughs> You mean push it harder? Okay. You got it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's sleeping back there. Sister's sleeping back there, okay? <laughs> He's gotta go to bed. Get him! <laughs> Look, he's gotta go to bed. Get him! <laughs> this kid's gotta go to bed. Get him! <laughs> James. What is daddy? 98.2. Daddy's a little better. Wanna try better. mommy? Wanna try mommy? James. Can you do mommy stuff? This is a good thing to teach children, right? To point this at people's <laughs> oh, okay. heads maybe, and maybe pull not. the trigger. <laughs> no, do not go. No, there. you can't go high. That's the high that's the high dive. That's adults only. Adults only. There we go. Ready? Jump! Whoa! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> underwhelming, there, kid. like a two out of ten thereabouts. Lame. All right, bedtime. Bedtime, my son. Say good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Mwah. Mm -hmm.